Jay, you really know how to make an entrance. It was amazing with the Echo Jet. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, that car. That's the car we built for SEMA a couple of years ago. It uses a Honeywell LT101 jet engine. It goes through a, we made a step down case for it there to go through a Chevy Corvette transmission. You know, speaking on behalf of us auto lovers, mm -hmm. we're so happy that someone in your position is out here, oh, well, you know, thanks. promoting the industry and really help moving it forward. Do you get out here to the design center very Yeah, often? I get down here a lot, actually. You know, it's kind of fun because it's away from the whole corporate thing, so the guys can be a little more artsy and experiment. And, you know, they, you know, I've seen a lot of change in GM. It, it, it's great to see it go from being sort of accountants and bookkeepers back to engineers and creative people. In a lot of ways, everything that's happened is probably the best thing that, that's happened. You know, I grew up in the era of the Cimarron and a lot of this badge engineered stuff where you just, you take a Chevy engine, you just put it in everything. And, you know, there was no passion. Now the passion's back and the Chevy Volt got car of the year. And it's all really exciting. It's funny to see a, a lean, trim company, you know, you know, fighting for survival and, and surviving and doing well. Are you excited about the way the the industry looks like it's going to pick up in, in the coming years uh, with all well, the? Well, I'm excited about the way the auto, the American auto industry is. I mean, uh, Ford has made a tremendous comeback. Absolutely. I mean, they're doing unbelievable with the Focus and and uh, and the Fusion and all those cars. And now you got the Chevy Volt and and uh, to watch Cadillac turn around. You know, I, I grew up in the era. Cadillac was an old man's car. If you were 25 on a Cadillac, well, that's because you're in the mob. You but know? now it's flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, no, yes. but you know, like like when the young hip music guys come, they want the Escalade, right. and everybody, all the right. other guys want the CTS Coupe at the six speed. And it's just funny. I can't. It's. I, I mean, I just get get in my head. It just makes me chuckle when young guys go, "That Cadillac's really fast." It, you know, because I grew up in the, you know, the era of the tail fan. Trying to wrap your head around. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's good to see. I mean, it's really hard to reinvent a brand because everybody has their idea of what something is, you know. So and I think Cadillac's done a great job with that, and uh, Corvette has gone from being a sort of boulevard cruiser in the 70s and 80s to a world-class sports car. I mean, my ZR1, I've got Lamborghinis and all kinds of stuff, and none of them are faster than the ZR1. Perfect. Thank you so much oh, for you. the time. Autofocus, thanks, thanks, Jay Leno. Good job, Jay. Thanks.